Hey, I'm Dave Coach, and I thought I'd come back and give you a little peek into what I keep in my bag when I'm out shooting and what bags I use. Kind of prompted by a post Noel made yesterday in one of the real estate forums. Noel's a guy I respect a lot and a great photographer. And I gotta tell you, his bag got me kind of excited. It's very deep. He only did a top-down shot, but I can imagine how deep it is because he put all his cameras in there with the lenses on going down. So that's definitely, you know, an interesting, very unique bag. And then when Tacy said that she used it also, well, that means it deserves a look. So I'm definitely going to take a look at it. Again, this is going to be what works for me. This is not the be-all to end-all. This is not the solution. This is my solution. I carry a number of bags. I have one that I use for real estate, one that's more set up for commercial. I'm gonna go through the real estate bag right now. And then I'll probably tell you what I keep in the truck and um, what's in the commercial bag also. So without any further ado, this is the bag that I use. It's not really a bag, it's a hard shell case. I carry this for a number of reasons. One, I'm kind of brutal on gear, so it helps to have a, a good protection for my gear. And two, I go out of town on occasion and it's nice to have a bag that's gonna fit in the overhead compartment and me not have to worry about repacking and, and making things fit in something else. So this works really good for my purposes. I got this at Harbor Freight. It was $79, I think. I think if you work really, really hard, you can find it on sale at $59. So it's a pretty good case to use. It does all that I need. So let's go inside and see what we've got. First off, notice it's numbered number six. That's just for me, because it's the Z6. Makes it easy for me. I have a second case that is number seven that I use for commercial. Six has everything I need to go in this and a tripod and I've got my shoot done. I did get an insert for it. Obviously, I've talked about these before, the Magmod Spheres. I love those. I use those on my 8200s. I have two 8200s and they go kind of in the front. I use these for every shoot that I do. Hiding underneath them is a spare battery for the AD100 Pro, because two is one and one is none. So you need one spare of everything. So in keeping with that, I have two spares for the AD200s. Also hiding down here is an extra hidden camera battery. Next to that, I have my commander for the, the flash. I stack two of them. I'm not 100% sure why I do this. It had something to do with a color shift that Nathan Cool figured out. And um, I talked with Nathan about it. This was the solution and I've just kind of kept with it. It does cause the camera to not realize it's in flash mode, which I find handy sometimes so that you don't get that weird exposure problem. So I use it like that. It also, for those of you who shoot the ambient and then you shoot your flash, it's really easy to just turn your flash on and off here. You don't have to go monkeying around with each of the individual flashes and turn them on and off. You just turn it on and off here and you're good to go. Gaffer tape, always good to have. I have black, I also keep gray in the, in the car. Very, very valuable thing. This is not duct tape, gaffer tape. Completely different thing. I keep a uh, 24 tilt shift in here because I do use that a lot for everyday shoots. Let's see what else. Oh, look at this down here. Really important stuff, lens cleaners. Got to keep lens cleaners on board. I usually have a rocket blower. I'm not quite sure where my rocket blower is right now, but that's usually in here too. Business cards. Got to have some business cards. Camera, uh, Z62 with a 14 to 30 F4. That's all I need there. And that sits right there, ready to use. Just pull that right out. As a kind of an extra lens, I keep an uh, 85 millimeter. And then let's see, what do we have over here? Doorstop. That's more important, I guess, for 
Matterport and things like that. For me, a spare set of glasses is really important. A small little tripod. I don't really use this for cameras. Obviously, it's not going to hold up for a camera, but I do use it for something that's hiding in this next pocket. And I do find this very valuable. This is also really good for putting an iPhone on. Sensor cleaner if I need it. There's sensor cleaner fluid down at the bottom. I don't use this a whole lot in real estate, but for commercial, that's really good. A lot of times getting the color exactly right on is very important. So I keep one of those just in case I need it. Again, two is one and one is none. So we have lots of spare storage. And then this funky little panel light is wonderful for lighting just small little areas. I'll put it on this, mount it up, and that's really good. I like that a lot. So that's what I keep in my case. As I said, I keep a second case, case seven. That's got my Z7 in it. That also has my Cam Ranger, the 17 millimeter tilt shift, the 70 to 200, which isn't really that useful for real estate. So it stays in the other case. What else is in there? Well, let's take a look. It's right here. 20 millimeter F1.8 in case I need it. Cam Ranger. Colored filters for flashes. That's handy. Another flash commander. Oh, and another flash commander. Zip ties. More business cards, more lens cleaners. My rocket blower. All that stuff's in here. With the two of those both in my car, I am covered for just about anything I need. I also keep two drones in the car. My day in, day out is an Air 2S. And this works really good for just regular real estate. And then I use the regular controller and I use my iPhone on that. I have the Fly More package, so I have a lot of spare batteries. Spare batteries, spare batteries, spare batteries. Super important. For projects that need a little bit more attention, I keep the Mavic 3 Pro on hand. This has the three different lenses and it's really good for just getting a variety of different looks at properties. The three different lenses give you a different perspective and that's really, really cool. This, I got the remote with the picture in it. This drone looks so dang good. I just love that one to death. What else do I keep in my car? Well, I don't use them much, but I keep two light stands. I have a third one, it doesn't really work that well. I keep a boom arm on it and use that for holding a reflector in case I ever need that. I have a set of 48 inch flags for flagging things, two C stands for using the flags, my main tripod, which is a really right stuff with the Arca Swiss uh, cube on top. I have a second tripod, which is a Gitzo that's set up just for the Matterport Pro 3 because that has a unique mount system to it. The Matterport 3, obviously, the Matterport 2, which will go on a regular Arca Swiss mount. I have a very large tripod, which will go up to about nine feet. I keep that in there. And then I have a third tripod that's just a kind of a backup. I keep two AD 400s and two AD 600s in there. I also keep an aperture, I think it's a 300, and that will put out varying colors of light so that I can match interior colors with a constant light source. That's really good for video. I think I've got three or four umbrellas. Most of them are munched. That's why I have so many. I do have a 60 inch umbrella that's really good for putting outside a window and faking sunlight coming in. Learned that trick from Matthew Anderson. Thank you, Matthew. Matthew Anderson is a great photographer. You should follow him if you're not already. And he's a fun guy. Let's see, what else do I keep out there? A couple of Apple boxes. Garbage bags. Garbage bags are really good for taping up over windows to get rid of reflections or things like that. I think that's about it. So that's, that's pretty much what I go out with every time I go out. If you have any questions or want to know about any of the gear or anything, please let me know and may your next shoot be your best shoot.